So apparently, Archibald McGregor put down another moonshine steal the Braithwaite's had out of the swamps. They're shameless, that family. All right. I can improve the accuracy of that, you know. I can rifle the barrel for you if you'd like. Hmm. That could really shine with some carbon in it. I carry only quality goods here. Excited to try this. Thanks, Mister. Geez, you gotta get me out of here. Telling you the truth. He's got me playing off. Hello, mister. Oh, hey. Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. How you keeping? Oh, <laughs> I'm miserable. Because of the leg? Ah, oh, no, I'm used to the leg. I mean, I've been without it a whole lot longer than I was with it. <laughs> nah, it's a people. Yeah, a bunch of... Nasty, miserable peasants I gotta share this place with. Why don't you leave? Leave? Well, live here. <laughs> They're my nasty, miserable people. Now, I've been hating on them for so long, if I forgot to hate them, <laughs> I wouldn't know what day it was. Yeah, but you... Man, you ought to get out of here and you ought to stop coming back.
Come on, girl. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. <laughs> I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Were you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks. Hello, sir. What? It's okay. Doctor friend of mine lost his wagon. You all ain't seen it, have you? Up with it, ain't he? You tell your friend we gonna pay him a visit.
Come on, get you back to the doctor. Yep. Did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. <laughs> 